Hi everyone, this is Jasmine and in this video we're going to discuss on how we can specify colors when we design our web pages. So obviously colors are very important. It makes our web pages look professional. It makes it more interesting and attractive to our audiences. So that's what we're going to discuss in this video and we'll also discuss on how we can write comments into our web pages. So let's make a new file. Let's have our basic structure, then let's name this one as color codes and color schemes and then let's save this one i'll save this one color codes .html. okay so um we need to specify some colors when we design such as the backgrounds maybe color of our fonts and some other things that we need to specify color so let's have one example let's try to change the background color of our page okay so by default let us open our page first the background color of our page is white okay so if you want to change that one you can use the bg color of the body then you can specify there a color name okay so let's say let's try red for this time okay so you can do that so you can use different color names to change the specify colors in your web pages you can do that um, now, another better way to specify colors so that you have a wide range of color combinations and you will not be limited to the color names is using the RGB, okay? So, we'll use the, this one from W3Schools. Okay, so RGB stands for red, green, and blue. So, you're going to derive colors or combine colors through a combination of these three color numbers. So we are using here the hexadecimal number system to specify the colors. So the minimum value of the hexadecimal is 00. zero. So the first two digit here is for the red. And then this one is for the green. And this one is for the blue. So if I have zero values for the three, let's say what we get, we get the black color. Okay. Now, the maximum value also of the hexadecimal number system is the F. So, I'll say FF, 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 maximum for all, you will get white. Okay? So, we can also use uh, this part here. So, let's say I will have FF only and then I don't have values for the green and blue. So, obviously, I will get red. Okay? Same thing, if I'll put 0, 0 here and there will be maximum here, I will get green. So, what do you think will happen if you will have maximum of ff and maximum of green this color is what we get okay so you can combine the values the intensity of your values through um for your red green and blue to get a color combination okay so let's say i have this one okay let's say let's say we have this and we can just copy this code and put it here to get our color code okay and let's see so now you have it so using color codes you have wide range of color combination because if we use only the color names it will be very limited for us okay we can also use this one for the font okay let's say i will say here welcome to my website okay then i will choose i will um, write color here then we will uh, choose a color for this okay let's try this okay then if you remember h1 so that will make our text bigger save this let's see our output okay so that is how you can use the color codes okay now another way to do that is you can choose you can you can search for color pickers there are a lot of color pickers from the internet and using that one you can click on a, a color that you like that you will get automatically your hexadecimal equivalent okay so let's say we change this one save this Okay, there you have it.
Okay, now, so obviously you will be using a lot of colors in your web page, in your web design. And to make it easy for us to choose a good combination of colors, we can use color schemes. So there are a lot of color schemes generators. So this is one example of that. You can go to that website. And this is very helpful for you to choose how you combine your colors so that your website will look um, very nice. Okay. So you can see, you can press spacebar. So let's say this one. So we'll use this one as our uh, background. Select color. Okay, I'll change it. Oops, sorry. Okay, let's copy again. And let's write it here. This will be my background color. And so that it will have good combination with my text, I will use this one. Copy. Save this. Let's look at. Okay, see? You now have a better combination of your colors. Okay, last thing for this video is how do we write comments? So comments are text that you write in your code, in your HTML code, that will not be interpreted by the browser. So this is used for information purposes or for documentation purposes. So you write uh, your comment like that. And then this is the opening comment tag and this is the closing comment tag. So anything you write in here will not be displayed by the browser. So let's say, for example, I say developers just me. Save this. And let's see the output. Okay, so it will not be as shown in your browser. So once again, this will not be executed by the browser. These are only for information purposes or documentation purposes. Okay, so I hope you learned a lot on how you can write color codes and how to use color schemes when you design your web pages. Thank you very much. I'll see you in our next video.